following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Twin Falls, Idaho. Sue Ladies and gentlemen, Danger. it's now time for our big steel cage match. And I know both of these superstars are supremely tough, but you'd have to assume they're experiencing some butterflies here as we wait for the opening bell. From the United States of America, Sal. As we look at the steel surround the ring, Corey, what are your thoughts heading in here? There is nothing more barbaric than this, Cole. It's like we have a couple of caged animals locked up inside that steel. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. Ooh, what impact. What a strike. Oof. What a stomp. Good grief. Time slam. Vicious. <laughs> Things starting to go the other way for her. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. Slow down, Cole. Oh, man. Your tone seems to suggest you think she's in trouble here. Trust me, it's going to take a lot more than this to keep her down, especially given the magnitude of this match. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. Oh, and a snap there. Now look at you, Whiplash. Drop kick. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Ooh, boom, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Nailed it. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. This might be it! 
it. Oh, my. Boom. <laughs> Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall, submission, or by X. She's looking at it when she gets an attack. Oh, she got all of it there. Harsh impact. Boom, what impact. Nailed it. Looks to me like the gas tank is at about halfway. You want to make sure it doesn't get close enough to E, though. That's for sure. And, of course, the great tag teams of the early 2000s helped put the TLC match on the map, and it's only gotten better ever since. Ooh, ooh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. She's looking a little unsteady. She's going to have to turn things around in a hurry, guys. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. These women are so evenly matched right now, guys. I can very easily see this match going either way. We're looking at complete domination here. This might be it. Oh, my. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met in... He survived, and this cage match is in the books. I want to take a moment to thank all of you for tuning in to one of the greatest women's matchups I've ever seen. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, Sue Danger.